Praise God, praise God, praise God. Yeah, this is Christ the Entity Foundation coming your way once again with touching the heart of reality. Uh, this is your brother Philip. This is the section where we teach the Word of God, where we bring to us the mind of God, the counsel of God, the revelations and the mysteries of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, today we are here once again with the Word of God we have titled um, God's Glory. We have titled God's Glory. And we would be looking at uh, the sub the sub of these in as the in between the clouds. In between the clouds. Uh, we need to understand um, the glory of God. We need to understand the expression of the glory of God. This is the time that we need to walk in the glory of God. And so the Lord has laid it upon our hearts to um, begin this pathway that he has revealed unto us so that we can be in alignment in uh, his glory in order for us to understand and walk in that glory that has been ordained for us. And so we would want to talk about um, clouds under the message that the Lord has put upon our hearts as the glory of God or God's glory. But before then, let us quickly take a shot of prayer as we trust that the Lord will lead us into um, this reality. So everlasting Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We adore you. We honor you. Um, we know that it is you that has kept us and has held us from day one till now. It is because of the beauty of your glory. F precious Lord Jesus, we bow before your throne. It is only thy word that is supreme over us. And so we are subject under your word, O Lord Jesus. We ask that you open the eyes of our understanding by your Holy Spirit and give us encounters even as we go through your word, even as we serve through your word. We ask that you will give us the skills, the knowledge, the wisdom, and also the understanding to grab that which you are doing in this time and season by your word. We thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' glorious and matchless name we pray. Amen. Amen. And so people of God, stay with me as we go into the word of God that we have message God's glory. And specifically, we are talking about the in between the clouds, in between the clouds. Now, we need to understand as believers that um, there is something that is called God's glory. And I know we all know that there is um, the glory of God. There is this thing that is being named or labeled as God's glory or the glory of God. But one thing also we need to know is that that glory uh, has a location. It has a place. It has an atmosphere. It has a realm that uh, this glory can be revealed or it can be manifested. And so when we talk about God's glory, there is, um, there is a, a location that we can think of. There is a place that we can think of or there is an atmosphere that we can actually think of to know that that is the realm that this glory can be revealed or can be can be made manifest and um, if because if we do not know this if we do not understand this if we do not have this knowledge it will be difficult for us to trap this glory in our vessels in order to express that glory of God because there is a glory that our Lord Jesus has called us to he said um, he has called us to a certain level of glory in him and so it is the father that actually did this work in Jesus Christ our Lord and gave it unto us so that we can be the reflectors of that which God the Father did in his son Jesus Christ our Lord and so we will go into the word of God as we navigate through the word of God that the Lord has laid upon our heart 
and so we would want to take our first scripture from the book of exodus chapter 16 verse 10 exodus chapter 16 verse 10 it says that and it came to pass as aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of israel that they looked towards the wilderness and behold the glory of the lord appeared in the cloud it says and behold the glory of the lord appeared in the cloud now that is the first thing i want us to take notice of that the glory of the lord appeared in the cloud and so what we need to know is that the glory of god does not just appear anywhere it appears in the cloud that is why we are talking about in between the clouds we are talking about the glory but we are looking at in between the clouds because the glory of the lord appeared in the cloud in the wilderness where god began to uh, lead his people to that promised place that he promised their um, father abraham in fact our father abraham and so we need to know that if god's glory will appear if the lord's glory will appear it must appear in a certain atmosphere in a certain location in a certain point in a certain jurisdiction in a certain realm and i'm saying to you that that realm is the cloud that place is the cloud that realm is the cloud and so it will never appear without the cloud so if the glory of the lord must appear it must appear in between the cloud within the cloud and so leviticus chapter 16 verse 1 to 3 leviticus chapter 16 verse 1 to 3 as i read it says and the lord spake unto moses after the death of the two sons of aaron when they offered before the lord and died this is because um the lord actually expects that there is a way that his priest should come before him there is a pathway and there is a posture i mean there is a heart and the mind that uh, must go before the lord we cannot just go before the lord anyhow why because god's glory will appear and when god's glory appear um there is a posture there is a location that the priest must be for if the priest is not in that place um god's glory is is quite intense that it can take the life of the man and um, that is what actually happened to the sons of aaron because of um the posture that they went before the lord a uh, this posture was not the right posture and so it says that and the lord spake unto moses after the death of the two sons of aaron when they offered before the lord and died and the lord said unto moses speak unto aaron thy brother that he come not at all times into the holy place within the veil before the mercy seat which is upon the ark that he died not for i will appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat now you see that he said i will appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat thus shall aaron come into the holy place with a young bullet for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering so what the lord is demanding that you cannot come before his presence and for that glory to just appear you must come with a sin offering and also a burnt offering are you with me and so this makes us know that the sons of aaron the sons of aaron the two sons of aaron that died just appeared before the lord anyhow perhaps they didn't go with um, the sins offering and also the burnt offering because the lord must accept these two things and then he shows up and then when he shows up there must be a covering and that covering for the people that shield is the cloud because 
um, the Lord will must appear in between the cloud. That's why he said, for I will appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat. Uh, so I'm saying that the glory of the Lord, the glory of God, if it will appear, it will appear in between the cloud. It will appear in the cloud. So the glory of God does not just appear, but it appears in between the clouds. So uh, the above scripture shows how God or God's glory appears in a cloud or in the cloud. So God never appears without the cloud. And thus, we need the cloud to experience the glory of God. Do you understand that? So uh, if a man will uh, experience the glory of God, uh, it will take the cloud. The cloud must come first it is just like the rain if any man will see the rain the the cloud must must first form we must first see the cloud it means that if the rain will come down this these clouds must gather the rain clouds must gather before it begins to rain it begins to drop down so that rain is like the glory of God and that cloud is like what actually contains um, the glory of God so what I'm saying is that the glory of God will only appear in the cloud and it is in between the cloud that the glory of God will appear if there is no cloud it means there will be no glory because the glory of God can only be expressed or can only be manifested in the cloud so our question is what is the cloud what is the cloud so i say that the cloud is the atmosphere or substance that harbors the glory of god the cloud is the atmosphere or substance that actually contains the glory of God or harbors that is like the habitation of the glory of God the atmosphere or the habitation or the realm that can actually contain or can actually um, harbor or actually um, brings the glory of God so thus the cloud is like the clothing that protects and also can host the glory of God and so the prayers of the believer in the Lord represents the cloud that can host the glory of God so I'm saying to you that it is your prayer and my prayer that represents that cloud or that atmosphere or that conduciveness that can host the glory of God. Why am I saying this? Come with me to the book of Psalms chapter 141. Psalms 141 verse 1 and then verse 2. As I read, it says, Lord, I cried unto thee, make haste unto me, give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. He said, let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice so stay with me he said in verse 2 he says that let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense now that is what i want you to take notice of he said let my prayers be set forth before thee as incense or we all know that in the old testament in the tabernacle the priest is supposed to go before the lord with an incense in the holy place he's supposed to go before the lord with an incense even in the holies of holies he's supposed to go there with an incense and you know that when any time the incense is offered the clouds are formed and whenever the clouds are formed it means that nothing else is seen there nothing else manifests it is in that cloud that the glory of god appears um, before the mercy seat or in the mercy seat in between the cherubims in between the two cherubs that was created that overshadowed each other with the 
the, with their wings that cover it that actually protected the glory of God from man so it is in that incense it is in the offering of that incense it is in that cloud it is in that cloud of incense that the glory of God is being revealed are you with me so the psalmist said that let my prayer be set forth before the as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice so the psalmist is saying to us that it is our prayer that forms that incense are you there so now Luke chapter 1 verse 9 Luke chapter 1 verse 9 to 10 says according to the customs of the priest office his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. So do you see that? So the above scripture, the above scripture reveals how the prayers of the saint or the believer is as the incense which is the cloud that is burnt or offered in the holy of holies or even in the outer court or in the holy place so i'm saying is that i'm i'm saying that it is the prayer of the saint or the believer today that is as the is as the incense of the lord are you with me i'm saying that it is the prayer of the saint or the believer today that is as the incense that the Lord demands from the priest in the Old Testament. You see, in the Old Testament, the Lord demands that Aaron should come before him with a sin offering and also a burnt offering and also an, an incense to offer before him, perpetually before him. And so in this New Testament, it is shown that it is our prayer it is our prayer it is the duty of the priest that is what luke said in luke chapter 9 verse 1 it says that according to the custom of the priest office his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the lord that is the demand so i'm saying that it is the prayer of the saint or the believer today that is as the incense the lord demands from the priest in the old testament that it does does therefore it is in prayer and through prayer that we generate this cloud that is capable of hosting the glory of god therefore one of the ways in generating this cloud is prayer is prayer and for the believer to experience the glory of god he or she needs to be a man or a woman of prayer i'm saying that in between the cloud is prayer clouds to be formed there must be prayer for that cloud to gather there must be prayer and we also saw that there is no way god's glory will ever appear without the cloud because it is in between the clouds that god's glory can find expression it is in between the cloud that god's glory will be revealed i'm saying to you that it is in between the cloud that god's glory can be manifested because it will never shine forth god's glory will never bright god's glory will never be seen without the cloud and so i'm saying to you ladies and gentlemen that you must be a man or a woman of prayer to see the glory of god to manifest the glory of god to experience the glory of the lord jesus christ so we must be priests and we know that in Luke it is revealed to us that it is our lot 
to burn incense. It is our lot to go before our Lord, before him with prayer and in prayer and with all things. We know that we pray so that we can see the glory of our Lord. Praise the Lord. And so I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, that it is in between the cloud. It is in between prayer. It is our prayer that generates this cloud. And it is you and I prayer that these clouds can be formed. That is why we are talking about God's glory, but we are, we are saying that in between the cloud. And that cloud is the prayers of the saints. And in between the cloud is where the glory can be revealed or manifested. Praise the Lord. And so people of God, um, we are saying to you that for we to experience God's glory, it must be in between the cloud. In between the cloud. And so, Father, we thank you. We give you all praise. We give you all honor. We thank you for us as kings and even priests before you. We know that it is your work that you are doing in us and through us. We also ask that you activate our priesthood by prayer and through prayer so that in it, in between that cloud, we can host your glory. We can host your your glory we can manifest or experience or see your glory and so we thank you for this word and we also ask that you will activate this word upon our hearts so that we can um, actually experience this reality that is in you and even in your word we thank you we give you praise in jesus precious and mighty name we have prayed and all the saints of the Lord said, Amen.